here we are, I'm gonna talk you through some basic squeegee technique. First of all, we've got a bucket of water here. I've filled it with warm water. Now there's uh, a lot of different soaps out there. I use GG4. I just put it in a separate little bottle like this and add it into the water when I fill up my bucket. It helps the squeegee glide on the glass as well as being a cleaning detergent. So it's really great solution, this one. Then we need to get our applicator nice and wet in the water, work that soap solution right into the fabric of the applicator. Give the applicator a good shake out so it's not too dripping wet, but it's nice and wet, um, ready for use. So just to let you know, before we begin, I'm using a Unger Ninja sleeve. This is mostly a natural wool sleeve, but some of the wool fibers are replaced with scrubby strips in a couple of places down the sleeve. So this is really good for agitating anything that might be a bit more stubborn on the glass. I really like this sleeve, it's one of my favorites. And then today I'm going to be using a 12 inch squeegee channel. I think 14 inch is probably the most common, but I'm just gonna show you with a 12 inch. I like to use a 12 inch most of the time, um, and I'm gonna have more space to maneuver this squeegee around the glass. So the other thing that I think is really important that often gets underestimated is the way you grip the squeegee handle. I think it's really important to put your thumb on top, your first finger underneath, and to allow the other fingers to allow it to pivot around the window. What I see quite a lot is people holding it with their first finger on top. And what that means is, as you're moving the squeegee around the window, there's a lot more strain through your wrist and your elbow. Um, if you can hold it with your thumb on top, your first finger, you're getting a pivot through your first finger and thumb like that. And your other fingers will really control that pivot. It might take you time to build up strength in your thumb. If you see the difference in my thumbs here, obviously I'm right-handed, so I've built up a bit of strength in my right thumb there, holding it on. So that's my top tip. So try different ways of holding the squeegee. Find a way that's comfortable for you, that you can work with. That's the main thing, really. So using a squeegee is not as difficult as it looks. It's basically three steps, okay? Cutting in. Then we'll have S turns, and then closing out. They're the three steps, okay? So I'm gonna show you that now in more detail. Wet up the window, being careful not to get too much soap along the top. Now when you first put your squeegee in the glass, you get this drag like this, where the soap drags for a length of time. So what we have to do is we want to start at the top and squeegee our way down. But what we want to do is start part way down, maybe a third of the way down so that we eliminate that drag. So we'll do that here. We'll get this corner of the squeegee going up into the corner here. And then we want to bring it across the top into the other corner. Now, as we come across the top into the other corner, we want to allow this side to come up slightly. And then that rotation continues as we come down the window here. Now our concentration will shift now from this corner to this end of the squeegee here. So as we bring that side down, we want to now bring that side of the squeegee over the top of where we've just been. So we can gather up the soap now on this side and bring it down this side of the frame. These are our S turns. Now we come, our attention is back on the top here as we come over the top, round to the other side, make sure we get that rotation because we're gonna bring this side of the squeegee down into the corner and bring this side up again over the top until we get to the bottom. Now we may want to close out at the side or preferably we want to close out at the bottom. Now it's preferable to close out at the bottom. Sometimes if you close out and 
finish your movement at the side, you can end up with soap running down onto the glass again. So it's always better, if you can, to close out at the bottom, but sometimes it depends on the point you are in your turn. It's good to experiment and have uh, a try with both and see which one you prefer, which you find best. So we'll do that one more time. Now, if you're cutting in, you can cut in from the top here into that corner and bring it down and then come back across to this corner. Get your turns, make sure you keep that side up, bring it over again. This side we want to keep down and then this side. Each time get that rotation. Then we'll wipe around the glass like we normally do. There we go, and then the frame. And that is our squeegee technique. It takes a lot of practice uh, to get used to it. You might want to find your own little techniques in there as well, your own slightly different pattern of uh, working your way down the glass. But really it's good to experiment and try it out for yourself um, because the more proficient you are at it, the better. So check out the links in the description. There's a whole range of online training courses that I now do not just to show you great tools and techniques to help you clean windows, but also there's lots of business tips on there as well to help you grow your business or if you've been looking to go self-employed to help get your business off to the best possible start. Thanks for watching, take care and I look forward to seeing you again soon.